Algerian Youth Voices. Today we have an exclusive topic for you, the holy month of Ramadan. Murad, my friend, did a survey around nine cities in Algeria to bring you the different traditions of Ramadan in our country. Let's discover them together. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. It is observed by Muslims worldwide as a month of fasting to commemorate the first revelation of the Quran to our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The month lasts 29 or 30 days depending on the moon and consists mainly in fasting from dawn until sunset, but not only. Ramadan is also celebrated as a month of prayer and family. As we all know, Algeria has so many traditions that differ from one place to another. Let's hear more about Badnian people to have an idea about how they spend their Ramadan days. All the neighbors always gather at night and stay late till we do sahur again, then we go back and sleep. And that's what I think is specific. And food as well. I insist on food. When it comes to night, you can see everybody go to salat or to do shopping. Uh, friends meet each other and go to have tea and to chat together. Now, let's move a little bit to the south to meet some friends from Wurgla and Turgurt. In uh, Turgurt and Wurgla, it's uh, almost 50 or 52 degrees, so we cannot go outside from uh, 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. Uh, in the evening, uh, it's time for Marcans uh, who sell milk and uh, like traditional uh, cakes like Zlabia and Svarosa and uh, some traditional breads of Chugurt region, uh, like Matlo and Khmira and, and so on. And also, uh, there are many uh, markets who, uh, who sell uh, dates, with all types of dates. In the night, after Azan of Maghreb, we will open the day of by date and uh, milk. After that, we have some dashisha, we call it, or uh, shrik, as all Alger Algerians, burek, zlabia, kalbulus. But what's, what is special in our region is uh, that we make tea after the Tarawih prayer. Hmm, very interesting. So far we can notice some differences between the wilayas. But what is the secret that makes this month so special? One day I spent a few days of Ramadan in Algiers uh, with my family too. But I can notice that uh, Ramadan without your, through your friends, without your real family, can be different. You can spend Ramadan outside of your city because it has a special taste, that's it. To be frank, I cannot agree more. The essence of Ramadan consists of sharing the most precious moments with friends and family, and its meaning lies within what we consider as home with our beloved peers. It's also the period of year where not only we give as much as we receive, but also learn some life lessons. Ramadan is a wonderful month for me because I really feel like I become very close to God, to Allah. I learned the Quran by heart. And uh, what I love best about Ramadan is Taraweeh, prayer. Uh, it teaches me about courage and it teaches me about how to fight yourself and to do a lot of efforts so that you finish that prayer and you be very close to God. After Taraweeh, uh, it's my favorite part is walking around the town, seeing people, uh, uh, eating ice cream before I arrive home and then I fall asleep. For me, Ramadan is about Quran, prayer and having fun. Oh, I'm glad that you talk about the most important part of Ramadan, which is prayer, the source of unity of all the Algerians. Now, let's see the city of Bijaya, where some associations are very active. One, in particular, does a really interesting activity. So, if you live around Buji, you should definitely visit the Kaspah during this blessed month. Why so? An association called the Patrimoine organizes uh, Madih songs of the Rasul inside a library uh, of the Kaspah. And they are uh, singing songs that highlights the Rasul. And this is something very important because uh, it is one of the Jaya traditions 2,000 years ago 
Ramadan in Constantine is also celebrated in their own way, but this year it's a pretty different case compared to the other years. Uh, we will be having for the first time a Constantine uh, as a capital uh, for Arab culture, so this time we will have different mood because we will be more involved in Ramadan. Let's end up our magnificent trip about Ramadan in Oran. I found that it's funny that people mood changes from day and night, probably they're hungry. I don't know. Uh, typical food in Ramadan, uh, we eat uh, shemia. We have a lot of traditional food without forgetting the family reunion. It's rarely when you see like in a regular day, you see people around one table eating. It happens in Ramadan. If you can find uh, 10 members of family eating all together, same meal, having fun and, and enjoying the time. I can't think of a moment that can do what Ramadan does. That's it. It's really special. For myself, I can talk on behalf of Algeria's people and say that Ramadan is the time where not only we get closer to God, but also to our families. We sit around one table, share one meal, and this time is really unique. I wouldn't miss any of those moments for all the treasures of the world. Call it a clan, call it a network, call it a tribe, or call it a family. Whatever you call it, whoever you are, you need one. And as Michael G. Fox once said, family is not an important thing, it's everything. Wow, our beautiful country is in fact rich of several customs. Each city celebrates the holy month in its own beautiful way. Thank you for listening. Algerian Youth Voices wishes you Ramadan Mubarak and Sahaf Torkom.